This is the arrivals list in LNR. It is mobile friendly, so it's designed to be mobile first. It also works well on desktop. Here we're showing it to you on desktop view. Um, it defaults to the date of today and will show you um, a range, but you can shorten the range as much as you want using the filters. Down the left, you'll see um, the ability to expand the reservation, uh, to go to view the reservation, the arrival date, estimate time of arrival if it's been supplied, the number of nights the person the guest is staying for, name of the guest with a quick link through to the guest themselves, how many guests are in that reservation, which area they're staying in. A reminder, areas in LNR could be a grouped destination, or it could be, for example, the hotel or the building. If you only have one location, you'll just have one area. The type of accommodation could be double room, could be single room, could be one bedroom apartment. We'll show there, and then the individual accommodation um, identifier. So the, the actual room number or the apartment name or the name of the rental. You can also see whether they, when they checked in and whether they online checked in. So this one here with the orange tick used our online check-in tool. Whether they've got a special request, what the status is of the guest, in this case checked in. And you can also see if they've uploaded any information. Um, so if they've used online check-in, you would see here if they've done their e-signature, supplied their passport or identity documents, taken a picture themselves. The tag here shows you if something's been approved or not. So we take, for example, Sam Copper and we click approve. It will just update to show us that it's been approved. We can also reject it and say it's un unapproved and that will change the status back again. You can turn it on and off. When you approve something, you can do so with a note. So you can approve with comment. Like that. It's an internal tag to help you with managing arrivals. Now, you can also use the expand to see a lot more information around the reservation. When you expand, what you're going to see here is the full name of the guest, email, phone number, how many times they've stayed before. If you've got, if you're using custom fields within LNR, here we've set up a VIP field, an interest, business or leisure. These have been completed on a guest level and they will show you here. You can also see any reservations, custom fields that you've set up that are useful. So for example, this guest is going to have daily housekeeping. They also require an extra bed and they, uh, they need their main bed to be set up to be a double. Here's the confirmation number as well as the, uh, the source. In this case, it's an OTA Expedia booking. Here we can see a special request. So they've requested extra duvets as they get very cold. We can click through to this, of course, and see the request open. Here we can click to see the signed terms and conditions, which will open up. And we could then check that against their uh, supplied identity document here with just used um, uh, a fake identity document because it's a demo and uh, obviously um, uh, an online picture we're allowed to have permission to show. We can also see um, a history of uh, notes internally when they've improved the, uh, the system as well as the fact that this guest has requested a daily newspaper. So we have a lot of information around the guest which can help us to give a better check-in experience and to be confident if the guest is are uh, indeed allowed to stay. And we have some quick links here to go to edit the profile of the guest. So if we wanted to change something, we can go to edit the profile and we go into all the depth of the guest and the guest profile. So if for example, we had the phone number or the second phone number, which was something else, or we were adding a secondary email address, we're saying that they've taken away permission to, to, uh, to allow us to market to them, for example, we can go to view the reservation, see the overall summary of the reservation, an extra detail, what rate they've booked, rate type, etc. We can go to edit the reservation, jump into that, which will allow us to do things like um, uh, give add-ons, put additional guests in, look at notes, change the rates, anything you can do here, edit the arrival time, send payment links, and we can also see, we can check to see what the status of payment is. Now in this particular reservation, they're paying in two intervals. The first interval is paid from the 24th of the month to the end of the month. And then the second interval is pending, it's not due yet. Uh, so you can watch another video to see how charge statements and, and payments and invoicing works with an owner. This gives us a summary. We know that the guests therefore are allowed to stay because they've paid 
um, for what was required in order to be able to arrive. Last thing to show in the arrivals list is that you can use filters to make things um, uh, to change the date range. So here, for example, we can see that today's date is actually the 25th. And I can shorten that just to see a couple of days. And what I can also do is I can use um, filters. If you're using multiple areas with NLR, reminder, that could be multiple different buildings, or different locations. You can filter to just those. You can also filter to the customized filters that you've set up. So for example, if we were looking to see grouped by destination, whichever filters you select will change your results.